Welcome to this week's video, and it's Ford Racing 2. I have to thank a viewer for this, for suggesting this game. I was doing a live stream of last week's terrible game, and someone suggested I play this game to cheer me up, to play something with a bit better quality. And I have to say, after an hour or so of playing this game, I'm already quite a fan of it. It's very impressive. I thought it was going to be another cheapo game, just going off the back of another car manufacturer. But actually, it's quite fun, so we're going to play a little bit of Ford Racing 2 on the PlayStation 2. So we're on the main menu, and as I can gather from my initial time with this game, it's very aimed towards single challenges. Player. Yes, I know it's single player, I just pressed that. Thank you very much, female announcer. Ford challenge. So if we go on to here, you can see the different vehicles in different little classes and you do a challenge to unlock each one. Obviously the ones that are greyed out with a padlock on aren't available yet to do. But I've already gone ahead on when I was live streaming this over on Twitch and I've already unlocked some vehicles, mainly the Ford Focuses. I don't know why I stressed the word Ford. The game's called Ford Racing, so pretty much every car's a Ford. So just, yeah, I just, yeah. <laughs> oh dear. Yeah, so once you've got those, you can go over to here and start doing challenges. And some of them are actually quite fun. I've not done all of them, like seconds out, but that's going to be quite an obvious concept. Racing line, another obvious one. Driving skills, lovely. Drafting, I kind of like it, and I kind of didn't. That mode is kind of a bit boring. Now, as you can see by the different types of car, they're pretty much going for, I'm guessing, what are the people's favourites or the more sold sort of vehicles. I can't really tell why or give you any reason or rhyme to why they've picked the vehicles that they have. It does seem to have more of a American orientation towards the selection of vehicles, because most people will know this. There's going to be a lot of talk about Ford in this episode. Ford in America and Ford in Europe are two different concepts and different approaches to making a car, mainly because the environment for each car in their own respective places is so different. In America, it's all about comfort and speed and power and block and all that. Lot. And in Europe, it's about competing with the German makes, like the VW Golf, uh, as long as it's not a diesel, and stuff like that, so yeah, it's, uh, it's got a bit tougher competition in this in this side of, the, side of the world. So for example, the reason why the Ford Focus is so popular, and I really don't think is why, for example, like I've already said, the cars are different, so for example, if you have the Ford Escort in America and then a Ford Escort over in Britain, traditionally over the years they've been completely different cars. And with good reason to, actually. Alright, so let's just get on with the rally car. Off road. Yes, off road. Challenge selected. Now I found from my stream of this game that I tend to think medium's about okay. Easy is not so bad, but hard is definitely a challenge. So they have seemed to got the the uh, the settings of the difficulty quite quite well done there. So yes, once again bravo. I should have really checked who made this game. But Long story. Let's race. Yes, I know. Let's race. Long story. I basically walk up to there, kick the shit out of some furniture, destroyed some furniture, and then remembered, uh, like a kid, on the last day of a holiday, remembering, fuck, I've got homework for tomorrow, which is this. So, yeah, <laughs> just getting it done. I hope this music isn't copyrighted because it is very nice music throughout this game. I do appreciate it. I've got to try and remember all the buttons quickly. Right, we've got three different cameras. Oh, sorry, two. Hmm, giving me flashbacks and need for speed. Now, what you'll notice about this game, hello, hello Apache helicopter, is it's charming as all hell. It really, really is. Now, anyone, of course, ow, 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 thanks for that, thanks for that, thanks for that, thanks for that knob. Anyone that saw last week's episode in the series, which was a drag stock and race, whatever it was called. That game was truly vomit inducing and I felt sick every, like, for many hours after playing and editing that video. But when I did the live stream, it hurt just as much. I knew it was going to hurt, like I said in the video. But thankfully this was suggested by a lovely viewer. And when it's sort of like whiplash, it's like quality whiplash. You play a terrible game, then you play a good one, and it feels like everything's right with the world again. 
And yes, this military base is very impressive for a PS2 game. It is very, it's got, it gives me flashbacks to GTA San Andreas, this part. I mean, you can see the ambition that went into this game. And the music is truly cheerful. I mean, this is a great way to start a day. <laughs> Kick the shit out of some furniture and play this game. Apart from that invisible wall there, which I didn't see, and that Titan in the air is putting me off. I know I said Titan, it's because GTA 5, you know. At what position we're in last, but that's mainly because of that major spin out I had earlier at the start, which wasn't really my fault because you cleaned up. Nice. Nice. Just be careful. The steering is quite nice on this game. And the back end on all the cars seems to be quite controllable. I mean, you're not going to be drifting on this game, you know, but not every game has drift mechanics and physics and shit. I've forgotten the handbrake. I think it's R1. Yeah, I think it is. <laughs> I hope. Otherwise, I'm just pulling the button and imagining that it's working. And thank you for the squeaky gate there, right in my ears. Let's cut the corner because I'm sure there's no penalty. So yeah, this was the quality of games many years ago. I mean, I really, in this series, I should do the first one because after doing a little bit of research, which I've all forgotten apart from this one detail, is this game came out a year after the original, which was, uh, of course, Ford Racing, number one. So... A year later, they brought this out, so I'm very curious to see what was the first one like. Because, um, did they do a lot of improvements on this? Is there a lot of changes, or is it just uh, the same game with more stuff put into it, a little bit more work put in? I'd love to find out, because this is a great sequel to a game, so far from what I can tell. I actually shouldn't say it's a great sequel, it's a good game. It's a great. Oh shit, hang on, back in. Problems, problems. Now, as you can see on medium. There is no room for mistake, because, yeah, the AI, oh shit, oh no, like I said, there is no room for, get out of, does that crap truck not have a reverse gear, I'm trying to look behind me, ah, there we go, <laughs> so yeah, already as you can tell, it's, oh, even though I got eliminated, uh, eliminated, you can already tell at the start of this video, this is a recommend, right, rather than try that again, this today's video is going to be a little bit short. I've got a lot of work to get done. Um, yeah, that it's very fun. Great, great challenge. Uh, I've already unlocked the car, so I don't really need to go through with it. We're going to show you something else. Now we're done a Ford. I just want to slap myself right now. We're just in a focus. <laughs> uh, I wonder what we're going to do next. Is it going to be a Ford? You dumb. Uh, at times like this, I hate my brain. I know it's not its fault, it's only just woken up out of its slumber, but still. Uh, next. Movie stars. I think maybe we should go one of these. Maybe we we'll go for one that we haven't done. Let's go. Movie stars. Yes, very good commentary there. Movie stars. <sighs> How about the Mac 1? Or, well, they're both Mac 1s. This is like they have different paint jobs. And they're in different challenges. So that's a seconds out, and that's a standard race. Collect 20 vehicles, that oh, crikey. Racing line. A part of me thinks we should give this a go, but no, I don't think that car's going to be uh, very interesting to a lot of people. Because <laughs> I've been in some very old cars, because I have worked in the car industry, and I've worked with many old cars, and to be quite honest, I, I don't understand some of them. They have no appeal to me, but some are very charming in their own right. Living legends, racing line, time attack, driving skill. I really want to give driving skill a try. Um, let's give driving skill a shot. Challenge selected. Thank you. Let's race. The one thing that is disappointing me from the screen, as you can clearly see, it's aimed towards the Americans with just a little bit of European flavour with the Focus Rally car. But I, I my family, uh, I've had drive a lot. Oh, drive through the Congates, yeah. My family have had a lot of Ford cars, mainly Fiestas, and. It's sad not to see a Fiesta on here. It's a shame some of the most common cars in the world get very little day daylight or, you know, they just don't get put into car games. Not like even your Gran Turismo's where they have a bajillion cars with no interiors on them. They still don't have the most common cars that we have in our, and especially in my part of the world. So yeah, it's a, it's a bit of a shame not to see them. And there is a part of me that is still sad that there's never been a Robin Reliant game. Yeah, I know it's not a Ford, but a Robin Reliant is something that I've always wanted to have as a video game, yeah. Because 
It looks so fun, do wheelies roll over? The challenges that you could come up with that sort of mechanics is pretty endless. But I can't see anyone putting the time of time and effort into uh, making a game with that. So it's fair enough. I missed that, I missed that one, but oh well. So this makes me, makes me come to think now, what other car manufacturers would we like a game of? Because spoiler alert, I've got a couple that are going to be coming up in the series, of course. One, namely, is a Ferrari game. One is a Lotus game. One is a Noble game. And I've probably got a couple of others lined up. I've got a Ford vs Chevy title. Uh, I will say that one of those pre-mentioned games off that list was made by Midas. Yep, you have been warned. I'm sick of it happening myself, to be honest. I don't want to br break into a massive rant about Midas, but just for a second here. The people that have seen my series, and have watched most of them, will know about Midas. Or Midas, however you want me to pronounce them. I don't really care, I do not deserve the effort. Out of time, oh well. You'll do better next time. Oh, thank you. Basically, I'm actually getting tired of seeing them pop up, because the way I order games online means that it makes it harder work to see the actual front cover, the artwork of the game. Which means, and also because they don't put in the description who developed or who published it, it makes it very hard to realise who's made it until it's arrived in my hands and I can look at it and see who made it. And way too many times has it turned out to be Midas or Midas. And I'm actually getting annoyed with it now because I'm getting a shelf full of these crap games that I know are going to be terrible to play. Most of them don't get much views here on YouTube. And God knows what they're going to be like on Twitch. Oh, I don't, I don't, oh, Twitch won't want to touch that nonsense. Probably, if it's sensible. <laughs> right. Another challenge failed, but that's par for the course today. I, I, yeah, feel free to mock me. Right, have to trying that challenge, which obviously didn't go so well, but oh well. I really want to try one of these concept ones. The Mustang looks quite tasty. Hmm. But there is stock car. And I know I have quite a large American subscriber base. Maybe I should do that one, if I was smart. We'll leave that till the last part. We'll do that just before the end. Because I really want to try the concept. concept. We're going to try the Mustang. We can have a try the Mac 3 concept or the Mustang GT concept. I think we'll go for the GT because it looks selected. very tasty. There's one thing I must say about Ford, especially the American side of it. Well, actually, this probably does translate to the British stuff and the European stuff, but not so much recently. Over more like a couple of decades ago, like a, one or two decades ago. Ford cars used to be, maybe still are in some, in some places, for all I know, are very cheaply put together. But at least they don't do screwy things like, you know, lie to people about the miles per gallon, or make priority parts that you can't go to an independent mechanic or garage to get repaired. <coughs> Audi. <coughs> I, I, I hope Audi still aren't doing this. Audi, when I was working in the garage in the car industry, if you want to change, say like a mid to, mid to late 2000s Audi car, say if you want to change the brake pads, you would have to go to the dealership to get them to use their little bit of software to unlock the brake pads so you can actually get to them physically and do the uh, the change. Yeah, so believe me, there are screwy things everywhere. Oh, don't even get me started on Renault. Oh my god. We had a Renault Megane, uh, the one with the fat arse, the one that had the Vava Voom advert. And I swear, I shit you not, to change the headlight on it, to change the headlight bulb, not the whole cluster, hello Ford G2, to change the uh, bulb uh, on the front of a Megane, you had to take off the front bloody wheel. I, 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 when someone told me I had to do that, I was like, are you shitting me? I have to get this up on a fucking lift, get the air gun out, take off the fucking wheel, then get to the access panel in the wheel arch, and then thread my hand through like I'm putting my hand like a vet up a cow's arse to test it for piles or whatever. <coughs> Better luck next time. Just, it makes no sense. It really, honestly, th this is why I like 
people don't understand why people like certain different manufacturers and certain different ethoses and approaches to making, especially cars or any product. Any product that is designed in a way that means you can't fiddle with it or repair it yourself or get access to the information to repair it or take it to someone else apart from the manufacturer to repair it is scummy. The same reason why I won't buy a Philips TV anymore. My Philips Smart TV, which has cost me over a thousand pound, is dead because only Philips can get spare parts unless you're a licensed repair for Philips. I can't. So basically, every fucking shop I take it to to get repaired, every shop goes, it's a Philips. We can't do anything. We can tell you what's wrong with it. We can open it up and find out what's broken, but we can't get parts to replace it. Uh, uh, what fucking logic is this? Fucking. Oh, the world is dumb. Right. Let's do the stock car and we'll end this video because it's quite a short one, as I already said earlier. Oh, I'm in a very ranty mood today. <laughs> it's thinking about Midas. I think that's the problem. Midas is literally eating away at my soul. Because I know there are a bunch of games. Like I just ordered the World War 2 game pre-mentioned in last week's video that they make that was advertised. Yeah. Because we've got Call of Duty doing their version of World War 2. Which is obviously not going to be very good from what we can tell. But, you know, you should never judge too soon. But, you know, it's pretty reasonable to expect what their next game's going to be like. You know, just like the rest of them. Just in a different setting. Yeah, so... Uh, it'll be interesting to see... What's probably going to be one of the worst versions of a World War Two game. And that can set a very low bar for Call of Duty then. So there you go. You never say I don't do anything for you, Activision or whoever the bloody hell's the, the evil son of a bitch in charge of that game these days. Right, <clears throat> where's the stock car? I'm trying to stock challenge. Standard race. Challenge I'm going to keep it on medium. Race. Apartment just thinks put it on easy so I can get one win in this episode. But if you want to see me actually do well in this game, come over the day after this video is uploaded and come see it live on Twitch. It would be nice to see you there. Start it's quite lonely. <laughs> right, we're well, car number 39. We've got side exhaust. Right, very lovely. Okay, so it looks like we've got a proper oval, have we? Very lazy revving engine. World shorter six, uh, six gear, second gear even. Now I'm forgetting to draft. You should be drafting them in this, this sort of race. And there we go. I'm going to try and concentrate a bit. There we go. Try and relax, listen to the music. Forget about me, Das. Oh, ee, wobble, wobble. Forget about all the troubles in modern day gaming. Oh my god, easy jet's taking off. <laughs> Come fly with me, let's fly, let's fly, delayed. Alright, so all i got to do is get past these people. I will admit, it does feel a bit lonely on this track. There's only five competitors apart from me. And obviously when you watch NASCAR or whatever this type of racing is, you know what I mean. Whenever you watch this type of racing on TV or on the internet, it always has a bajillion cars all in a massive pack of one centimetre away from each other. And it's like, one person farts and everyone's going to die. Alright. Let's take it nice and easy. Take them on the inside. Take them on the inside. Don't turn too much. Oh, yes, lean on him. Lean on Lean on my teammate. Thank you, teammate. Yes, you might have given me the run there. Yes, yes, yes. How many laps have I got? Right, we're halfway through. We might win one. Right, let's concentrate on actually winning. And I try not to think of Charlie Sheen when saying that. Uh-oh. Uh, yeah, this is a weird little off spurt of a moment, but has anybody seen the adverts? They're not on YouTube anymore, I don't think, but they were going around not so long ago of Charlie Sheen's adverts where he was playing ping pong with somebody. He does a really good shot, and then he does a smile, sort of half throws down the pad and goes, WINNING! And then a little quote just comes up saying, not as bad as you think, or whatever it was, and it was just a very strange set of adverts. It really was. Oh my god, red car, are you trying to get on my nipples? Because you are really tweaking them and getting on my nerves now. Right. The problem is I don't think I can actually spin them out even if I want to, so I don't think that's an option like Gran Turismo, so let's just try and go out high. Get ready to bring it back in. E -e 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 -e. There we go. Yes, you two fight. Yes, spin him out. Yes, yes, you take your teammate out. Yes. 
That'll do. Alright. I've got one lap, or maybe two. I, I'm, I was always bad at working out. <laughs> uh, you know, I'm a bit like James May. you got to do three timed laps and you end up doing two and coming in because you forget the warm-up lap. It doesn't count. <laughs> you know, stuff like that. All right, I don't think we're going to get first place, but you know what? A second is better than a slap in the face today. So I'll take that. Uh, it's nice to do a more chilled out video, one that isn't stressful because of how crap it is. Uh, this game is very competent. Yeah, it's a bit basic, but shit problems. There we go. But it's enjoyable. It's not vomit inducing. And that makes a lovely change for this series. Yeah, so we're on the last lap. We're not going to catch him, I don't think. But we will keep going. As long as we don't lose this place, it's fine. So, what to expect in the next couple of weeks? I have no idea for this series, to be honest. The, uh, a small note at the end of this video. YouTube is definitely falling apart around me. I don't know if you've noticed this. It's not just me making things up or being a bit delusional. Uh, yeah, there are a lot of even big content creators leaving YouTube. And a lot of people just giving up. And to be honest, I felt like joining them, to be honest, for quite a while now. But... Uh, I think I'm going to end up being one of those people, you know, like the movie Titanic. I know, thank you. Uh, yeah, I'm like one of those people. I'm like at the in the movie Titanic, where the band are playing classical music even when it's sinking. And that'll probably be me. Either so dumb or so lazy or just so optimistic, I don't know, to actually stay on board a sinking ship and just keep playing the violin and just be like, la la la, just keep it going. Well, that's the whole ethos of Dory for you, just keep swimming. Wait, that wasn't too tight though. No. On that awkward bombshell, I will see you next time. <laughs> for now, goodbye.